What's up everybody? This is Brandon Lee Salazar on the air. How are you guys all doing today? Um, it's November 18th, 2021. And tomorrow is the day of my birthday. Oh yeah. Okay, so... Sad news to report. Um, I don't think I got a chance to tell you this, but... Um, we had to delay my fan series of Doctor Who Confidential that was under the title Doctor Who Confidential Revived. Yeah, we we had to delay it before we could before it could be premiered because of copyright concerns. Yeah, so to take off the pressure, we're gonna take a break from it and. We're probably going to turn my planned extended version of Doctor Who, The Day of the Doctor, into a book. Even though Stephen Moffat has already written his own version. But mine is a lot more different than his. I'm not going to get into any of the specifics right now. Because I would rather wait until the book is finished. Until then, wish me a happy birthday tomorrow because I'm going to need it. Oh yeah, and one more thing to uh, Sam Whitwer who sent me a pep talk message through Cameo.com. I just want to take the time to say thank you for having the opportunity to... Give me some words of advice and wisdom. And in case if you don't know what the specifics were in terms of my personal project that I've been struggling on. It's an extended version of Doctor Who, The Day of the Doctor, which I really wanted to put on film. And of course, I wanted it to have many of the original cast members as I could possibly get. So there you have it. And for some of those who didn't know about the... what Sam Whitwer had said to me, I'll provide the video for you now. Hello, Mr. Brandon Lee Salazar. How are you doing? Sam Whitwer here. Um, struggling with a personal film project. I'm with you, man. Um, I, I don't know what particular challenges you're facing, but perhaps it'll help if I tell you a little bit about the challenges that I face. Uh, doing this kind of thing, this is uh, music stuff. Music for me is like my little um, lemonade stand. I, I kind of do it on my own and mess around and it makes me feel good when it's not making me feel like trash. Because the problem is, like, when I'm writing a song or something like that, it just... It might start out with a lot of promise, and then it just, like, sucks. I'm like, and I and, I, and then it makes me not want to finish it, because if I don't finish it, it could always be great. But if I finish it, then it is whatever it is. And maybe it's not that great, or whatever. But the fact is, a finished song, or a finished work is infinitely better than a half-finished work because the half-finished work isn't finished. It never goes anywhere, right? So the thing that I try to do is take all of that self-doubt or any of the obstacles and just tell myself, get it done anyway. Keep pushing forward. Don't get bogged down in what the problems are. Just keep pushing forward until it's complete. And if you have to solve these problems, okay, great. Come up with some solution. Well, what if the solutions to these problems aren't good? It doesn't matter. Get it done. Because once it's done, in rough draft form or whatever, once you push through, then you can take a step back, take a breath, and go, oh, you know, I'd like to come up with some better solutions to that problem and that problem. And, oh, you know, what if I try this or what if I try that? By going forward and just getting it done, you give yourself a lot more creative air to breathe. Does that make any sense? So, uh, and, then, and then, look, even if it doesn't end up exactly the way you want it, it ends up some way, 
And you learn from that and you get better from that. That's how you grow from this stuff. I mean, like I, I'm the kind of actor or writer or whatever that just feels very badly about what I'm doing and you have to just ignore it and you have to just keep going forward and do your best and do it, do something. And then ultimately, if you do that enough, eventually what happens is you look back on what you did sometime later and go, that wasn't that bad. That was pretty good. I, that's not so, I'm glad I did that. That's pretty cool. So I hope that helps. Um, I'll show you a little project that a dog is in the middle of. Walter, how's your project going? Is it going okay? Because you're doing a great job destroying that. Doing a really good job. This is like a little bed that I gave him. This is a stray dog. And he thinks it's the coolest thing to destroy it. But he doesn't destroy my stuff, so that's good. Anyway, Brandon, I wish you luck. I hope that any of that helped. You'll get it done then. Oh, yeah. And one more thing, Sam Whitwer. If you're also here in this part, too. Can't wait to see you in Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 2 if you are voicing anyone in it. Hopefully it's Starkiller from Star Wars The Force Unleashed, mainly, because, let's face it, I mean, this could mark the beginning of the Sith Inquisitors of how they got into Star Wars Rebels and into Jedi Fallen Order, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah. In other words, thanks for watching, and... Wish me a happy birthday tomorrow because tomorrow's the day of my birthday. Peace out, y'all!